Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me. Today we are going to cover radiator valves, thermostatic radiator valves. Now, one of the first things we're going to cover is the numbers on the side of the valve. These are vitally important and I'll tell you why. Each number represents a temperature range within the thermostat. So people think that when you walk into a room, you feel the radiator, you think, oh, that's hot, but the room's cold, so I'll turn it up. Well, actually, by doing that, you're defeating the object of the thermostatic radiator valve because, as I said, they've all got their own ranges, so you're just higher in the range. So it's not really the point of the valve. So what happens when you raise and lower these numbers here? Well, inside, so as you can see inside, when I lower the numbers, the plunger drops and sits on its seat, so the valve is shut off. And when I turn them back up, the plunger rises to let more water or more flow through to the radiator. Okay. So on this particular one here, well actually this one here, this is a, what is this, Terrier valve. This should be left with you from a plumber that's already installed your thermostatic radiator valves or it should be in your booklet that you got at your house or whatever. If you don't have this, it's not important, you can use Google nowadays. But what it is, it gives you a rundown on your valve and what each of the numbers represent, the temperature ranges. Now I don't think you can see, but you can see the numbers there and you can see underneath there's some small ranges for each number. This will differ depending on what valve you've, got, valve you've got. So on this one, if we set this valve at four, our temperature range in the room will be 25 to 23 degrees. As I said before, this, te this senses the temperature within the room, not the water within the radiator. Inside here, you've got a copper sensor that expands and contracts dependent on what you set this number at. This is what I try to explain to people because I keep getting asked by all my customers and especially um, from, e from emails and, and people on YouTube. There is also what's called a frost setting um, which basically is it's just a little snowflake on there. That's all it is and what that means is let's say you're going away or the buildings you know, it's going to be out of use for a while it will basically just protect it against the cold. Now on this particular valve, that's seven degrees, but that can differ depending on what valve you've got installed, if that's important to you. And again, zero, zero means nothing, that's off. Short, completely gone. The radiator will not get hot. You unscrew it there, just like so, and you can just pop it off, just like that. And we'll go into what happens if um, they get stuck in another video. But what you can do, if you ever find that your radiator valve is stuck, you can take the head off and just lightly push up and down the plunger. Now if this is stiff, this means that it's stuck, okay? And sometimes you can free it up by doing this. I don't recommend hitting it with a hammer. Um, I've, I've seen a few, few videos explaining to people to do that. I don't recommend doing that. There is ways around it and I will cover that in another video. But do not hit it with a hammer because what can happen on some valves, I'll tell you why, this pin here can pop out and before you know it you've got a fountain of water coming out under pressure squirting all over your nice paintwork. You don't want that. So if you've heard that before I suggest you do not do it. Let's say you've taken that off to decorate and you've left it like that. Well that's open. So what will happen is once you turn everything back on you'll, it'll find that it needs to call for heat. So before you know it you'll have water spurting out here. So by all means take them off to decorate but make sure that you've got one of these caps with it. And what this does, it just sits on nicely and it acts like a lock shield cap on the other side of the radiator. And it keeps the valve nice and shut. And it's obviously a quarter, not even a quarter of the size so you can decorate around it. So do not, I've seen it a few times happen already from people, do not leave it open-ended like that once the system is full of pressure if you want to decorate. Big no-no. What you may find with some TRVs is that they will have a pin inside them, so you might not be able to adjust them. Uh, this is mainly for like tampering, false hands, little hands, hotels, uh, commercial places. They normally have pins in them. In the back, as you can see, there's some slots. So what they would do is they'd set it to there, to number four, which is equivalent to 25 to 23 degrees they want in that room, that's fine. And they'll put a locking pin in there, which you can get out with a tough nail or, or a screwdriver, or there may be a certain maneuver that you have to do to get it out. On some valves, they don't have this. Like on this one here, this is just a free term one. So there's just a few things to look out for, guys. And that is 
basically all there is to know about a TRV. I hope this has given you some information. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video, guys.